Over the last few years, the Hamilton-Wentworth District School Board has focused on training and educating staff, parents, and caregivers on emotion coaching to support children and youth. Emotion coaching is a strategy that can calm the brain in as little as 60 seconds and can help improve relationships. Emotion coaching is a two-step process that includes validation and support. Validation is step one. It is an acknowledgement of another's experience, point of view, thoughts, emotions, or behaviors. Validation requires us to step into the shoes of another, to communicate, I'm with you, and I want to try to understand your experience. Our instinctive response to an individual's emotional distress may be to say something positive or to problem solve. There are many reasons why we would dismiss the individual's feelings, such as wanting to free them from emotional pain and not knowing how to respond to feelings like anger or fear, to name a few. To pivot from our common impulses, once we have named another's emotional experience, emotion coaching invites us to replace the word but with the word because to move into a validating statement. For example, it's important to move from saying, I can understand you might feel sad about missing out, but there'll be other opportunities, to the validating response of, I can imagine why you would feel sad because you were really looking forward to seeing your friends today. Validating another does not mean that you are agreeing with them. It simply means that you are trying to convey an understanding of their experience from their point of view. Support is step two. It involves offering emotional and or practical support, such as words of comfort, reassurance, redirecting, and collaborative problem solving. Often, we have learned and adapted our approaches with others to offer the practical and emotional support either before or in the absence of providing validation of their experience. If we try to offer support before we validate, it will not be as effective. Intense emotions like anger or sadness send our brains into survival mode, and we lose the capacity to access the thinking parts of our brain that allow us to consider consequences and to solve problems. We call this going offline. When an individual is validated, the emotional brain calms down, comes back online, and can be ready to accept support. The ability to self-regulate can improve by experiencing emotion coaching repeatedly and over time. Emotion coaching creates an opportunity to strengthen our alliance with others by building trust through vulnerability, curiosity, openness, and respect for individual identities. We believe that trusting relationships can play an important role in building healthy communities and healthy homes. Further benefits include building connections with others, feeling less alone in our journey of supporting a loved one, and working together to support emotional challenges. Through information sharing, reflections, experiential exercises and practice, these skills can be learned by accessing various emotion coaching offerings we have available.